You know, the thing about it is, guys, what you got to remember in flooded situations like we have here is green's always better than brown. And green is where those bugs are going to be and, and going to get be exposed. And what happens is, is the bait fish, the, the sunfish, the bluegill, they get in there and feed around on these little bugs that are in these trees that have now became exposed due to the flooding conditions. Pay a lot of attention to the forage, not, not necessarily the fish, because it's kind of like, you know, the, the fish are going to be where, the, where their forage is, is going to be. We've got, uh, <clears throat> oh, that's a little one there. We've got uh, flooded conditions here. And if you, if you get up in here and you get around these bushes and whatnot, you start seeing a lot of little bugs. Well, the, the bait fish are going to feed on the bugs. The, the brim are going to feed, the perch and stuff like that. The sunfish are going to feed on the bugs. So that's all going to draw those bass in there. You know what I'm, I mean? It's, it's, it's like where the buffet is, that's where they're going to go. So, you know, even though there's not a, 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 you know, a, a lot of visual, um, you know, bait and stuff like that that are that are around here i know with these flooded conditions that 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 sunfish and that that little bluegill that little that little you know minnow they're in there feeding on those bugs it exposes forage to them too so that bass is definitely going to go right in there behind them and and uh you know and try to capitalize on a, on a free meal too it's, it's just like following the food chain so where the buffet is that's where the bass are going to be and remember this green is always better than brown